Are you a new cat owner and wondering how to ensure comprehensive care for your cat? Welcome fellow feline aficionados. Today we're embarking on a journey to explore the multifaceted world of cat care. As we all know being a cat parent isn't just about cuddles and purrs, it's a commitment to provide for our furry friends in every way possible. We're going to cover four essential aspects of cat care, feeding, litter training, playtime, and exercise. Each of these plays a vital role in ensuring your cat has a healthy happy life. Feeding is more than just filling a bowl, it's about understanding your cat's nutritional needs. Litter training is key to maintaining cleanliness and hygiene. Playtime is not just fun, but also a critical part of your cat's mental stimulation. And exercise, well, that's essential to keep your kitty in top-notch shape. So, let's dive right in, shall we? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into each of these aspects. Let's start with feeding. Feeding your cat properly is the first step to ensuring their overall health and well-being. So, let's dive into the essentials. First and foremost, cats need a balanced diet. This means they require a mix of proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and vitamins. Proteins are the building blocks of their bodies, helping them grow and maintain muscle mass. Fats provide energy, while carbohydrates are necessary for digestion and absorption of nutrients. Vitamins on the other hand, support their immune system and overall health. Now, you might be wondering, what types of food are suitable for cats? Well, cats are carnivores, meaning they thrive on meat-based diets. You can opt for commercial cat food, which is often specially formulated to meet their nutritional needs. This can be wet or dry, depending on your cat's preferences. Wet food is generally more palatable and hydrating, while dry food can be beneficial for dental health. Remember to always check the label to ensure it meets the Association of American Feed Control Officials standards. But how often should you feed your cat? Adult cats typically eat two to three times a day. Kittens, however, require more frequent meals, about four to five times daily, due to their rapid growth and high energy levels. It's equally important to discuss the dangers of overfeeding and underfeeding. Overfeeding can lead to obesity, which increases the risk of various health problems, including diabetes and heart disease. Underfeeding, on the other hand, can lead to malnutrition and stunted growth. The key is to find a balance. Feed your cat enough to meet their nutritional needs, but not so much that they become overweight. It's always a good idea to discuss your cat's diet with a vet. They can provide personalized advice based on your cat's age, breed, weight, and health conditions. Remember, a well-fed cat is a happy cat. Now let's move on to litter training. Litter training a cat is simpler than you might think. Cats are naturally clean creatures, so with the right tools and approach, they'll quickly adopt this important habit. Let's dive into the details. The first step is to select the right litter box. There are many types available, from traditional open boxes to covered ones and even self-cleaning models. Consider your cat's preferences and behavior. Some cats prefer open spaces while others like a little privacy. Don't forget to choose a box that's large enough for your cat to move around comfortably. Next, we'll talk about litter. Again, you'll find a wide variety of brands and types. Some are scented, some are not, some clump, others don't. It might take a bit of trial and error to find the litter your cat prefers. A good way to start is with unscented, clumping litter, as many cats tend to favor this. Now let's move on to positioning the litter box. Place it in a quiet, easily accessible location where your cat can have some privacy. Avoid areas with high foot traffic or loud noises that might disturb your cat. Also, keep the box away from your cat's sleeping and eating areas. Teaching your cat to use the litter box is the next step. Initially, you may need to gently place your cat in the box a few times to help them understand its purpose. Most cats instinctively know what to do once they're in the box. However, if your cat seems confused or hesitant, try scratching the litter with your finger to demonstrate. Remember, patience is key. Some cats might take a little longer to get the hang of it. If your cat is having trouble, try changing the litter type or box location. Consistency is also crucial. Keep the box clean by scooping out waste daily and changing the litter regularly. This will encourage your cat to continue using it. With patience and consistency, your cat will soon be using the litter box like a pro. Up next, playtime. Playtime is more than just fun, it's an essential part of your cat's mental and physical health. Let's delve into the significance of playtime for your furry friend. Playtime serves a dual purpose. It not only keeps your cat entertained but also satiates their natural hunting instincts. This is especially important for indoor cats who don't have the luxury of chasing butterflies or stalking birds in the wild. Think about it this way, in the great outdoors, cats would spend a considerable amount of their time hunting. 
This involves a lot of mental calculations like estimating the distance of the leap or the speed of their prey. When we bring them into our homes, we need to provide them with an outlet for these instincts. That's where toys come in. Toys that mimic the movement of prey, like feather wands or even laser pointers, can be fantastic for this. They stimulate your cat's desire to hunt and provide an excellent mental and physical workout. Puzzle toys that dispense treats can also be great fun for your cat and help to stimulate their problem-solving skills. Interactive playtime is also a wonderful bonding opportunity. By spending time each day actively playing with your cat, you're strengthening your bond with them. They'll start to associate you with the fun times, and this can help to build trust and affection. Like with any other routine, consistency is key. Try to schedule playtimes at the same time each day. Cats are creatures of habit, and they'll soon start to anticipate these play sessions. Start with short, frequent playtimes, and gradually increase the duration as your cat builds stamina. Also, remember to rotate toys to keep things interesting. Just like us, cats can get bored with the same old toys. Introducing new toys or bringing out an old favorite can rekindle your cat's interest in playtime. Above all, make sure playtime is safe. Ensure the toys are suitable for your cat's size and age, and always supervise playtime with toys that could pose a choking hazard. Remember, a playful cat is a happy cat. Lastly, let's discuss exercise. Exercise is as important for cats as it is for us humans. It aids in maintaining a healthy weight, mitigating behavioral issues, and promoting overall well-being. But how can you ensure your feline friend gets enough of it? Let's dive into that. Firstly, understand that cats are natural hunters. They are wired to chase, leap, and pounce. So engaging them in activities that mimic hunting can be a great way to encourage exercise. You could use toys like feather wands, laser pointers, or even motorized mice to stimulate their predatory instincts. Remember to vary the games you play with your cat to keep them interested. Just like us, cats can get bored with the same routine. Try introducing new toys or changing the environment where you play to keep things fresh and exciting. Another great way to ensure your cat gets enough exercise is by creating an environment that encourages physical activity. This could mean installing a cat tree or shelves for climbing, or perhaps a window perch for your cat to leap onto and observe the world outside. Now, let's talk about signs that might indicate your cat isn't getting enough exercise. These can include weight gain, lethargy, and even destructive behavior. If you notice any of these signs, it might be a good idea to consult with a vet and ramp up your cat's exercise routine. Remember, exercise isn't just about physical health. It's also about mental stimulation. Keeping your cat active can help prevent boredom and anxiety, contributing to a happier, healthier life. As with any change to your cat's routine, start slow. Gradually increase the length and intensity of play sessions as your cat gets used to the new activities. Always prioritize safety and monitor your cat's reactions to ensure they are comfortable and enjoying the exercise. An active cat is a healthy cat. Now let's summarize what we've learned today. Taking care of a cat involves more than just love and affection. It requires a commitment to understanding their needs and creating an environment where they can thrive. Remember, feeding your cat isn't just about filling the bowl. It's about providing a balanced diet that suits their age, lifestyle, and health status. Litter training is crucial too. Patience and consistency are key. Make sure you provide a clean, accessible, and private space for your feline friend. And let's not forget about playtime and exercise. These activities are vital for your cat's physical health and mental stimulation. Regular play sessions and exercises can keep your cat happy, healthy, and in shape. Lastly, never underestimate the importance of regular vet checkups. They are essential in detecting any potential health issues early and keeping your cat in prime condition. With these tips in mind, you're now well equipped to provide comprehensive care for your cat. Thank you for watching.